Hi, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys a haul of all the items that I've been collecting over the past few months. And I've got a little bit of everything from fashion, beauty, to accessories and food, even art. <laughs> So um, let's just jump into it. We're gonna start off with fashion and the first thing I want to talk about is this top that I'm wearing. This is by Mango and it is a batik inspired top. I fell in love with it at first sight. I'm not someone who usually wears really loud prints, but there's just something about this top that made me really drawn to it. One of the details I like is the V neck over here. It goes a little deep, but not too deep that you're uncomfortable. I think it helps to break up the pattern so it doesn't really like overwhelm you. And I also like that the sleeves, they kind of narrow towards your wrist. So that's also a really cool sort of silhouette that the top has. It's just a very wearable top. I feel like you could dress this up or down. I've worn it once and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So yeah, don't be afraid to go out of your comfort zone and try out um, things that you might not usually wear. Like for me, large prints. <laughs> you never know, you might like them. The next fashion piece that I wanted to talk about is this blazer that I got from Zara and it's a cropped blazer. I really love this blazer. I think this is my new favorite blazer. I think the crop just makes it look so cool and I really love the button. I feel like sometimes, you know, it's a hit or miss with the buttons that Zara has on their pieces. It's just a very well-made blazer and I like to wear this on the weekends, kind of like that model off duty look like trying but not trying too hard kind of look yeah <laughs> i'll link the pieces down below um if they're still available hopefully they are so that you can also check them out now we're gonna move on to accessories um i've got a few pieces from mango as well the first one is this baguette purse it's mini mini size very small and petite and cute and it's actually quite spacious it can fill in quite a lot of items in there including your phone and wallet i think i even managed to put in a hand sanitizer tissue your phones it's not as small as i thought it would be but it's also because i feel like the material is quite expandable so that's a plus I really like this because of the sort of geometric print that it has on this canvas bag. It's very Gucci-esque, I feel like. From afar, it could pass off as Gucci, maybe. One thing you might not notice on camera is that it's actually really dark navy blue and gold. So I also like this color combination. And I feel like it's just a very easy piece to match with a lot of things. The next thing I got from Mango is this belt. I think it's the, it's called the interwoven sash belt if I'm not wrong. So basically this is like the front and you kind of intertwine it such that you can make a bow right here in the middle. You know what I mean? And I think it looks really chic, um, very sophisticated. I think it would pair really well with like more oversized pieces or billowing pieces when you want to just cinch in at the waist. Hourglass figure, you know. And the next item I got are these sunnies. They're just basic plain black sunnies that would match everything. I like it because of the boxier cut and it's like slightly oversized so I feel like you know it's very fashionable and like it's just like you know don't talk to me kind of vibes like <laughs> really very cool girl vibes and I like to wear it on my hair my head like this also kind of just like pushing back the hair like a headband 
but it adds like this like little volume on my head I guess it's cuz like I have black hair too so last on the fashion accessories items are these socks I got these Nike everyday cushion ankle socks these are very cute I feel like they match with a lot of stuff very basic like most people would say the funny thing is they don't have this in adult size I don't know why I mean maybe they ran out in adult size so I went for the kids size and actually they fit <laughs> sorry I think I missed out one more item in the category of fashion accessories it's jewelry and it's these pair of earrings right here they're really cool they're these um, gold plated triangular earrings that move yeah, they move like that from Massimo Duty. And I just think they're a really cool piece to have to add, you know, like to spice up your look. Yeah, really happy with this purchase. So now we're going to move on to beauty and we're gonna start off with something that I received as a gift from my lovely sister. Thank you for this um, gift set. And it comes like this. You've got the clay mask and also this um, deep conditioner hair mask. I've already started using this one. Sand and Sky uh, Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. So you know when you open it up, it looks like this, like sort of a purplish mauve color, not really pink. I feel like it really dries pretty fast and um, it does get the gunk out pretty effectively. The only complaint I have about this product is that it's a bit kind of like it doesn't smell good. <laughs> it's like maybe like black currant yogurt that's gone bad, maybe. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of the smell and you know when you slather it on your face, it's it gets pretty close up to your nose. For the Coco and Eve, I haven't used it yet. This is the super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask. Mmm, smells like like coconut. <laughs> coconut is always a good scent. And speaking of hair products, I have a shampoo and conditioner that I've been using and loving. This is the Subaki Premium Repair shampoo and conditioner so what really caught my eye was this like marketing sort of like message that says zero waiting times salon quality hair at home helps repair split ends in one wash and i'm like mm, i gotta try this and you know what after one use i already see the difference and <laughs> I don't know is it psychological like did I buy into the marketing I don't know but like I really really like this shampoo and conditioner I've already been a fan of Sabaki but for me I think this might be my new favorite um, product from Sabaki so if you're looking for a new shampoo and conditioner to try um, I would recommend this too they're a little bit pricier than the normal Subaki range, but as a Subaki user, I can tell you that there is a difference between this premium Subaki range and the normal one. So the last two beauty items that I wanted to include in this haul are also gifts that were given to me my, by my good friends Ellie and Chanel. Thank you for the beauty products that I am so excited to try. It's the Aso Geranium Leaf Body Cleanser and it came with the Resurrection Hand Balm. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is um, homeware, I guess. Um, I've got a piece of art I actually am really excited to talk about. Uh, you can already see it, it's right over here. I hung it in my bedroom. I love it so much. Let me just bring it closer so that you guys can see the details. Here we go, ta-da! So this is the piece of art that I bought from this local artist. Her name is Rongi and um, 
This is part of her Butterflies of Singapore collection. It's called The Feast of the Papi Leone Day. And I think that's a type of butterfly family. It says here, Swallowtail Butterflies. Her Butterflies of Singapore collection features all the butterflies that you can find in Singapore. So I think that's really special and I fell in love with it as well at first sight. This piece is a digital print and the special thing about it is that Rongi, after you order it, will add on her hand-drawn embellishments. So if I bring this closer to you, you can see carvings or marks are hand embellished as well as the outlines of the butterflies. Those are also hand embellished. It like changes with the lighting, the way it sparkles, and it's just very uplifting. I love it so much. Like when I look at it, it just makes me happy. Yeah, I'm gonna link this also down below and you can also find it at Design Orchard. The other piece that I wanted to show you guys is this candle by Soul Good Project. And I just love the smell, you know, like it has bergamot, lavender, and musk. These are not usually the sort of scents that I go for in a candle, but when you smell it, it just smells so good. The perfume or the fragrance is so strong. I haven't lit this up yet, so I'm really excited to see whether the scent is just as strong when it's lighted up. Okay, so that's about it for this haul. Thank you so much if you stay till the end to watch um, every single item that I've collected over the past months to show you guys. I hope that you know you guys enjoy this video and find some of the items that I've used and reviewed useful in making your own purchasing decisions. If you do like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss another video. I just wanted to say also like I know I have not really been uploading as regularly as before and it's because I'm really busy with a lot of stuff right now but I am trying to you know film and vlog whenever possible it's really more of the editing that <laughs> takes up a lot of time so yeah i am still here on youtube still making videos just rolling them out a little bit slower so until then i'll see you in my next one bye